Hi, it's Assemblywoman Nicole Maliotakis, and we're here in Brooklyn, Albany. Um, it's Brooklyn night in Albany, and we're having a good time showcasing all the wonderful things we have to offer made in Brooklyn. We have Brooklyn different flavored vodkas. Some of them are very good. Uh, we also have a new product called Sparkling Meyer Lemonade. It's cold brewed coffee with either a lemonade flavor or a cherry flavor. Very so good. For, for the record, somebody, my book. That's what, exactly what you and I are going to drink, right? Well, we're going to have to drink it during budget season to keep us up during the budget votes. And then we have some really good stuff. So we have Utz's here, we have Baked in Brooklyn, we have Nathan's Hot Dogs, we have uh, cookies, we have so many different products here. Uh, halva, we have Halva, which many people probably don't know is made in Brooklyn. To the food tables. We also have marshmallow twists, Joyva candies, the jelly rings, many people know these. And of course over here we have the Nathan's Hot Dogs further down. Uh, you, listen, you skipped um, taking all this. Oh, you get there. dessert. That's dessert. So for the main course, we have Nathan's Famous Hot Dogs uh, from Coney Island. And then we have here, don't go so close, Aunt Butchies, which we not only have in Brooklyn, but we also have in Staten Island. How about the Bronx? You don't have any We have nothing from the Bronx here, except for you. Well, thank you for coming to uh, Brooklyn Night in Albany. So when do we start eating? Now. Help yourself. Turn the camera off, start eating.
With all due respect to Brooklyn, we love you too. We love you too. I see what you're doing on that video. Brooklyn all day, every day, okay? Yeah, we love the Bronx, but this is Brooklyn night. We love you, Brooklyn. I'll take your food, but we love the Bronx. Where Brooklyn at? Where Brooklyn at? <laughs> Although I don't live in Brooklyn, you know, I hail from the Bronx, so Zane has his, his hat up, and Joe, you said that Brooklyn is the best delegation. I'll say that when I stand with every delegation, but I'm not a fool to know that Brooklyn has the most in the delegation, <laughs> which is very, very important. But seriously, it's so good of all of you to come and, and uh, and really give tribute to the businesses who do well in Brooklyn, who employ thousands and thousands of people in Brooklyn, and to have a night together, particularly with the members of the Brooklyn delegation. And uh, you know, I joke about them being, uh, Joe says the best, and I say they have the most, but they really do represent their county very, very well. They raise all of their issues, and they always make sure that the things that matter to Brooklyn are heard. So this has been an annual tradition so much that it's caused us in the Bronx to have to try to do uh, this, the same thing that we do and we'll have Bronx Night in, uh, in May. But it's really, really important to show the, the work between the businesses and elected officials because that's how it works. That, that kind of partnership is how we have successful communities. So I want to congratulate all of the businesses who came up here knowing that we may have some very, very terrible weather you may have to hang out another day up here in the warm and sunny Albany with us. But really, thank you for all you do for Brooklyn and thank you for what you do for the members. Thank you so much. All right, and next we are very lucky to be joined by the great Senate Majority Leader, John Flanagan, who's going to give us a few good words. John Flanagan, please give it up. So the speaker's up here talking about Biggie Smalls. I don't even know what to say. I should be probably quoting St. Patrick or something like that. But I, listen, I'm delighted to be here. And I want to tell you a couple of different things. The gentleman who just preceded me is exactly that. Carl Hastie's a good man. He's a good human being. He's a very strong, solid elected official. Terrific public servant. And I know, I know because how I work with him and how I listen to him, he really cares about people, working men and women. And yeah, he's got a little preference for the Bronx, periodically, maybe <laughs> over Brooklyn. But, but he is, uh, he's got a great team with him. So that's number one. Number two, there's a tall gentleman standing over to my right certainly not politically, but just physically for the moment. And uh, he's a terrific ambassador and a fine gentleman to work with, and that's Howard Zemsky from Empire State Development. Howard Zemsky. Come on, you're from Brooklyn. Give me a better round of applause. All right, so now let me talk about the chamber very quickly and priorities. First of all, I want to thank all my colleagues who are up here. You know, we have, we have great jobs, and we have challenging jobs, and certainly I care about Brooklyn as much as I care about other parts of the state, and I know what's going on. Ladies and gentlemen, you know this, Brooklyn is hot. Brooklyn is hot, and of course, even if I didn't think I should do this, there are two people out of our delegation in our conference, very shy, doesn't speak much, doesn't really advocate very hard, and that's the quintessential Senator Marty Goldman. And he is he's a fantastic ally, as is Senator Felder. And I'm going to close on this. I was very gratified to meet with the Brooklyn Chamber today. And the thing that was really cool, everybody cared, everybody knew their stuff, and it was such a wide range of businesses from small to large. So your advocates are doing a great job. Joni, of course, we all have deep affection for her. I've known Joni for almost 30 years. Wow, she, 30 years. 
Everyone have a great night, and in case you're stuck here, everyone's going to have egg creams tomorrow. Right? <laughs>